Hi, Christine here with another cute, quick, and simple card I made using my Cricut. Uh, actually, it's not that quick, but still quite simple to make. I used my Doodle Charms cartridge. I haven't used that in a while, with the exception of the last card I made. I have to take out some of my older Cricut cartridges to use, because my husband gets mad that I don't use them enough. Uh, but anyways, so let's get started. What I did is I cut out my basket first. So the basket is cut out at one inch and three quarters and then in the shift button the two edge pieces are cut also at one and three quarters. And oh that was page 116. On page 118 are the apples. I went to the blackout and I needed to cut out 17 red and I believe 8, uh, eight 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 9 green and they are cut at 3 quarter inch. So what I did, I started, I'm going to move that out of the way, I started with uh, just a light brown cardstock, 8.5 by 11, cut in half, folded in half. Then I took some vanilla and I found an embossing folder that I like. I haven't used it in a while and it has a border and then it has just a, a piece um, and that's it. And I don't know what it's called. If I find out I'll add it to it later. And what I did is I took the base of my basket and I doodled all the way around it and some of the cutouts as well. And all I'm going to do is put that right here. I was going to put it down but I forgot that I need to add some of the apples. So uh, what I'll do is I'll start with the base. It just goes right on top here. I doodled it, added some foam adhesive, and I added two brads. Now the first one is done with some brass ones or kind of a brushed finish, maybe some copper. I ran out of them so I used just some gold ones. And because I don't want uh, the tab outside I only folded it in half one way and I just actually that side is sticky and all I did is add it to the top of the basket and put it on like so the top of the basket I doodled, doodled as well and through the holes I'm adding this ribbon so I used adhesive to put this down and pulled the ribbon through. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull the ribbon through the second hole and use adhesive to put it down. And I don't know if I'm in camera, but all I did is pushed it down. Okay. And show. Then again I'm going to use a little bit of foam adhesive tape and I'm going to add it to this side and again on the other. Two pieces should be good. And I'm going to add it to the top of the basket. So Okay, what I did next is I formed a bow, actually, and I'm just using some glue dots. When they come off, they kind of bind and stick, which is good. Just squish it up so it's on there, and hidden as well. They're very sticky. And I'm just going to add it to the center of the basket, giving it a very quick, simple, added touch. I think the basket turned out super cute. 
And then what I did is I have my red apples, I have some green apples because I'm going to put a green one in the corner. And I have some that have already have the adhesive on top. I'm not going to doodle today uh, the balance of the apples, but I'm just going to show you what I did. Uh, basically, I took four apples, randomly put them on the back of the basket, only applying glue, you know, halfway down and just gluing it down so that the apples peeked out of the basket. And, you know, it doesn't really matter which way they go. They can just go any way you see fit. And I guess I'm going to put that down a bit. Now the next one is going to be raised. So I have one with foam adhesive and one without and I'm going to tuck it in just like so so I only need some adhesive uh, on the back one um, actually and a little bit on the front and I'm going to tuck it right in between So, there we go, I'm going to put it up, and then I just need one more, and I'm going to put it down three quarters of the way, and there we go, so there we have the apples in the basket. Now, um... I'm going to use my two-way glue. Not very sticky. Doesn't like to stay down, but I'm going to use it anyways. And I'm going to put it in the right bottom corner of the card. And then all I'm going to do is continue I didn't glue it down well enough. I'm just going to continue adding apples all along the bottom in various whimsical ways. Doesn't matter which side the apple lands on. It can be the left or the right with the leaf. It didn't really matter. The one exception I did do, though, however, is I have an apple with the green leaf, the green apple, which I left in the corner. There we go. And I'm going to just keep putting them randomly on the page. And what I did do is I raised a few. So that some were up and some were down. Right. And what I'm going to do at this point is did I have another one that was this way? Nope. So I'm just going to take this adhesive and put it on this side. And I'm going to raise this one. And I'm going to add another one. Just like so. And I'm going to raise that one also. And you know what? I'm going to raise this corner one right here. As well. 
take the sticky tape off. Okay. Now, some of them I decided to put little leaves on. To get the little leaves, all I did was I cut the apple, and all I did is the little leaf part here. I just curved it, and then I curved that, and then I got a leaf. And all I'm going to do is take two-way glue and add them in the corners, like so. And you just proceed to put the leaves on. any one of them that you feel fit, you feel you want to add them to. This one's kind of... It's going to go this way. I'm going to add... That one's that way. going to add one more here. And then I'm going to add one or two up here. And one more on top. And there you go, right in the corner. Now, as you can see on my first card, they were all doodled. I'm not going to do doodling on any of the apples. You can leave them plain or you can do some doodling. I did do some doodling around the border. And then I'm going to add one apple at the top. Oops, the adhesive came off. I uh, raised this one so it's and then I found this punch, it's by EK at Michael's, and I just found a stamp that says just a note. I doodled all the way around it, and I just added it, I also raised it with foam tape, and I just added it, and I have one more apple, need a little bit more foam tape. There we go. And just raise it as well and add it right on the corner for a little cute touch. I think it turned out really cute and I'm happy with it. So, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.